Hey everyone, here it is, Thursday morning, Jeremy from Covenant Contracting. So this house, I've been just getting started working on it, I was here yesterday. Another contractor had started working on this home, and I'm on the third floor of the house. And the uh, previous contractor was fired, um, went way over budget, didn't complete his work. Long story, not going to get into it. But anyhow, they were trying to create this attic truss style third floor, doing it all completely wrong. But the one thing I had to do, I'm going to continue with what they started, but then I'm going to make a bunch of corrections to make it better. So right here, it needs six more trusses. So, they had two already here. There's one right there leaning against the wall. It's winter time, you can probably see my breath. One leaning against the wall there. There's another one in behind the stack. That one right there. Those two were already built and already here, so I needed four more to complete this stretch right here. Because it needs six more to finish this roof line. So yesterday while I was here, I did a bunch of cleanup up here. And proceeded to build four more of these trusses. The one thing that's been perplexing me, I've been here a couple times now, is upstairs up here, they've had this box of coiled roofing nails. Inch and a quarter long. And for the life of me, I could not figure out what the heck that contractor was doing with coiled roofing nails on this project. It's not getting a comp roof, it's getting a metal roof, so you wouldn't use it for that. I've never seen these used in any sort of framing, so I was just curious. So yesterday when I was working, getting ready to build these other trusses, I was taking measurements of the truss they already had built, because I had to duplicate it, and I got to looking. I don't know if you can see it. Look at that. Those are coiled roofing nails they used in the gussets of building their truss. You can see the exact same head. It's inch and a quarter long. They got 7 16 inch OSB they're using for a gusset, which leaves, we'll call it half inch, which leaves three quarters of an inch of penetration into the truss member itself. Not very good. Not, not to mention that these coiled roofing nails are very smooth shank. So they'll slip in and out. I went home last night. I built mine as I'm not using that. I'm going to use two inch uh, ring shank galvanized nails. And see, this one's going to be on the gable. So I didn't guess at the exterior side of it. But here, this one here. So I did bigger gussets, nicer looking gussets. I used galvanized two inch ring shank nails. Anyhow, long story short, sitting at home last night, I thinking, man, I hope that doesn't fail. So here I am this morning back on the project and I wanted to test something and show you guys. First off, their gussets are way small. As you can see, they've only got four nails into each truss member, which in my opinion is horribly done and inadequate. And they use those small gussets, ugly, nasty looking gussets at every joint, even up there. So, I brought along with me a flat bar. I wanted to see how easy these pop off, because I know that these nails don't hold very well. So let's take a look here. Look at that. Didn't take much to get that off. Oh, look here too. It's already split. One, two, three nails in line and grain. Split the board. That gusseting job that they did in building that truss was absolutely worthless. The nails weren't seated very good either. 
as you can see you only get three quarters of an inch of penetration into the wood member it's terrible so now to test the method I used I'm gonna go downstairs where there's more light I'm going to not tear apart one I already built but I'm gonna mock one up with some scraps and we'll see the difference oops hold on I gotta grab one of their gusset pieces just to use as a sample I didn't use their gusset pieces I made all new ones anyhow let's test this out with the two inch galvanized ring shanks down here where you guys can actually see <clears throat> here's the two inch galvanized ring shank let's see if I can get that to focus it's not going to focus very well but anyhow yeah you can kind of see the rings these hold and grab very well <clears throat> and if I place this like that you can see the amount of penetration that's going to give. It's going to go almost clear to the other side of the board. Good penetration. So let's hypothetically say that this, I'm sorry I'm doing this with one hand here. Let's say that's the joint in the truss. And that's their gusset. Let's pop some nails in there. See what this looks like. So I'm going to load my gun here one handed. Loaded, here we go. That's a good bit. The first thing you'll notice, the nails, they're all seated. They're at a minimum, they're flush. There's none sticking out. Also look at my nail pattern. I've got five nails into each piece of wood. And I spaced them far enough apart that it's not going to split the wood. Same on this one here too. So we don't want to split the wood. You split the wood and you lose any strength the nail is going to give it. I didn't bring my flat bar down here from upstairs, but I do have my hammer. Let's see how hard this comes apart. Look at that. I'm trying to get the part, it's tearing the wood. This side too. Let's see if I can get under it like that. Look at that. Trust is built with these two inch galvanized ring shank nails. No USB are not going to come apart. Totally destroys the wood when you two. You saw how easy the roofing nails came off. That's not good. Now, I got to contemplate whether I'm going to inform the customer and let him make the decision whether or not he wants me to pop every gusset off of every one of these trusses and replace them with proper nails and proper nailing. Probably a day's worth of work right there just to do that. It's a shame that contractors do stuff like this the individual, I can tell you, the individual who was working on this home was weighing over his head. Didn't know what he was doing. But, regardless, you can see these gussets. Much bigger. Get it large enough so you can get your nails far enough apart. So you can get good nailing without splitting the board. And the use of a good nail. 
Moral of the story, we're going to build site-built trusses. Don't use coiled roofing nails. It's a bad choice. Till next time. See you guys later.